In this video, we are going to talk about using Slick Edit Selective Display Dialog to collapse function bodies. You may also want to watch the other videos in the Selective Display playlist. To bring up the Selective Display Dialog, go to View, Selective Display. By default, this dialog will show function header comments and hide function bodies. When you click OK, the current file will be collapsed down to just function headers and function header comments. To see a preview of what's been collapsed, you can float over one of the plus bitmaps. To expand the code that's been collapsed, double click on the plus bitmap. Now let's look at some of the other options available. For function bodies, besides hide, we have options to show and collapse. The collapse option differs from the hide option in that the braces will be visible, but the function body itself will be hidden, and you can double click to expand the function bodies. Now let's look at the Show option. When this option is on, minus bitmaps will be inserted in the margin, but the code will be left expanded, so you can collapse it when you want to. There are also similar options for function header comments, as well as the ability to specify which type of comments to show. Finally, there's an option to show all symbol headers instead of just function headers. Most notably, this will show global variables. If you like this feature, but do not like using the Selective Display dialog, you may want to bind the command show-procs to a key. See the video, How to Bind a Key, if you do not know how to do this. To return to normal line view, go to View, Show All. You could also bind the command show-all to a key. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com slash trial.